Hello everyone, welcome to a new session on informatics and introduction to bioinformatics. IT industry, new opportunities and new threats. Information technology industry is the largest and fastest growing industry in the world. Computer is one of the major components of information technology network. Undoubtedly, IT has become the greatest change agent of the world. Information technology is a double-edged sword. When its power is properly harnessed to serve virtuous purposes, it has tremendous potential to improve human and organizational performance. However, when it is exploited for malicious purposes, it can pose huge threats to individuals, organizations and society. Many forms of malicious IT such as viruses, worms, email spam, spyware, adware and trojan horses can affect personal computers and even enterprise IT infrastructure causing large scale productivity and financial losses. To prevent potential harm and losses, a critical information technology security issue is that end users need to perform the tasks that are necessary to effectively cope with the IT threats. Information technology has opened a breakthrough of technological innovation in collecting, storing, processing, transmission and presentation of information. It has transformed the information technology sector itself into a highly dynamic and expanding field of activity and creating new marketing and generating new investment, income and jobs. It also provided other sectors many advantages through more efficient production process and new and improved products and services. The reason for the superiority of new technological system clustered around information technology is due to the fact that information activities of one kind or another are a part of every activity within an industrial or commercial sector as well as in our working and domestic lives. The development of information technology is closely connected with the great development recently accomplished in microelectronics. Scientific and technological developments in transistors, semiconductors and integrated circuits, microelectronics is affecting every other branch of the economy in terms of both its present and future employment and skill requirements and its future market prospects. The continuous rise in the number of feature on single microelectronic chips has resulted in reduced assembly costs for electronic equipment, faster switching speed and more reliable smaller and lighter equipment. Information technology created opportunities for optimizing linkages between domestic markets and export or import which is reflected in the more flexible production and use of labor and equipment thus promotes the globalization of production and markets. The use of websites for telemarketing has allowed companies to increase the productivity, quality and efficiency of finance, banking, business, management and public administration. Industrial production may be planned, coordinated and controlled by computer networking. The advance of telecommunication and computerization enabled large companies to use e-business and to transmit technical and economic information between different geographical locations enabling widely dispersed industrial plants to direct managerial control from a central location. Information technology offers new opportunities for working through system integration. Electronic applications enhance information flow between production and sales forces to improve sales force productivity. Information technology, growth and development strategy. Information technology has the tremendous potential for accelerating economic growth, 
productivity and improves all sectors of the economy by means of efficient governance. Multifaceted applications of information technology help to protect consumers, provide access to government services, make skill information and training more effective, improves delivery health services and promotes transparency. IT generated employment potentials merged the gap between rich and poor. The dependence of knowledge based industries for investment will surely raise our position to heights in near future. It provides tremendous employment potential and linkages between government and people both at the rural and urban level. The IT software and service industry has been categorized into three broad sectors software product and technology services, IT services, IT enabled services. Status of IT software and service industry in India. The information technology and information technology enabled services industry is the driving force which boosts the economic growth of India. Gartner service reports that India is one of the fastest growing IT services markets in the world and big enterprises are planning to increase the production rate in the IT sector. The marketing trends of IT sectors like BPO are witnessing high levels of activity both domestic and export segments witnessing high levels of activity both onshore as well as offshore. When the companies move up the value chain the end users are offered to receive excellent and profit motive service. Information technology based systems offer organizations the opportunity of functional integration, multi skilled staff, rapid and flexible decision making structures with greater delegation of responsibilities and greater autonomy of operating units, a more flexible and organic approach enabling a quick adjustment to changing environmental conditions. According to NASCOM reports, a 12 to 14 percent growth was expected in India's IT and BPO sector exports in the financial year 2014 to reach the margin of 84 billion US dollars to 87 billion US dollars. In 2013, Indian IT infrastructure market reported a growth rate of 9.7 percent to reach 2.1 billion US dollars. By counting the efficiency IT sector, NASCOM predicted that India's future investment has set a target of 10 billion US dollars in revenues from software products by 2020. Specific constraints of IT industry. The constraints faced by IT industry are quality of infrastructure required for IT industry was not available. Quality of human resource was not matching with IT industry's requirements. Insufficient funds for IT industry. Lack of direction and vision. Non-conducive environment. Robust growth in the IT enabled services segment has enabled the IT industry of India to achieve accelerated growth and increased its share from 0.6 percent to 6 percent of the total turnover with the availability of quality infrastructure and trained manpower. The proper functioning of IT services require high quality manpower, state of the art skills, world class telecom and IT knowledge based environment. The IT enabled sector in India has emerged as a fueling force behind the growth of Indian IT industry and the technology led services industry. Services provided by the IT industry are customer interaction services including call centers, back offices, revenue accounting, data entry, data conversion and human resource services. Transcription and translation services, content development and animation, other services including remote education data search, GIS, market research 
a network consultancy. New opportunities Ubiquitous computing It is also called as calm technology by Mark Weiser in 1991 is a paradigm shift from visible to invisible technology. Multiple computers in a room as tabs, pads which corresponds to active post-it notes, sheets of paper and white boards and bulletin boards. These computers serve many functions as people come in and out of the rooms. Active badges based on infrared sensors will track the people themselves and email could be forwarded automatically to wherever the person is. Locating people at work to deliver messages or for other reasons is made easy. Printable processes CPU is the brain of the computer that processes the data. With the introduction of fast switch technology, the computer processors can be printed on flexible plastic, silicon or even paper which is manageable and cheap. This technology is possible to produce lightweight medical devices such as programmable heart and blood pressure monitors, high capacity memory devices, ultra thin batteries that are safe and handy. The wide use of printable processor technology resulted in the decrease of cost and size of the computers and helped to reduce digital divide. Revolutionary change in medical field. Microprocessors and nanotechnology revolutionized the medical field. Self injection of insulin is now replaced by drug inhalation method using the inkjet printer nozzle technology to process liquid medication into aerosol. In endoscopy, patient swallows a camera that uses computer technology which shrinks to the size of a small pill which takes the image when it reaches the small intestine to a recording device tied to a belt. Transaction Processing System or TPS TPS deals with the repetitive core business process of organizations such as order fulfillment and payroll. It helps to increase the efficiency of core business. Management Information System or MIS The major role of Management Information System is to provide information to managers in the functional areas. Information about each and every business transactions such as everything from purchase of raw material to hiring of employees to paying of bills to sale of merchandise etc. comes into MIS mainly from various TPS. Accounting and finance system, marketing and sales systems, customer relationship management are the other important aspects of information technology to support business. In customer relationship management, support of information technology are facilitate help desk activities through intelligent agent for answering frequently asked questions, monitoring customers order through intranet, groupware for advertise, online training in bank and hospitals, computer aided design, computer aided manufacturing to reduce cost of customization chat rooms for customers, discussion forums, etc. Another important activity in business is telemarketing. This is the process that uses telecommunication and information systems to execute a marketing program. In telemarketing, major activities such as advertising and reaching customers, order processing, customer service, sales support and account management are supported by information technology. Inter-organizational information system or IOS and global information system is used in efficient processing of transaction. IOS utilize value added network for telecommunication which is a private third party that can be tailored to specific business need. The most prominent IOS are global systems, electronic data interchange, electronic fund transfer, extranet, shared database and integrated messaging. 
quality management. Information technology can be used to develop new products or processes to improve the existing products and processes as to achieve a competitive edge in the market or to effect significant improvements in internal operations. Geographic Information System or GIS GIS provides methods to integrate and analyze digital map based special information. With digital map, it is possible to capture, store, analyze, manage and present data that are linked to location. Globalization Networking is a crucial component of information technology. Through networking, information can be shared across the world. The language barrier is no longer existent as software that translates information to required languages is also a part of this form of networking. Communication Information and communication technology can be used for sending email much faster. Technological advancements like voice over internet protocol allow people to hold conferences across countries. There are instances where operations have been performed by local surgeons with the help of instructions from senior surgeons residing in some other country. Artificial Intelligence and Intelligent System Artificial intelligence and intelligent system are concerned to make machines smarter and more useful to humans. This has made a powerful improvement in business and industries as well as in science. The important aspect of artificial intelligence and intelligent systems are weather forecasting, employee training, automated machines in large scale industries, various functions in spaceship, crime fighting through electronic imaging, etc. Bridging the cultural gap. IT helped to bridge the cultural gap by helping people from different cultures to communicate with one another and allow for the exchange of views and ideas, thus increasing awareness and reducing prejudice. The current trend in information technology indicates continued thrust of overall improvement of operating systems, hardware, user interface software, database technology and networking. Information technology threats. The internet is fast becoming a way of life for millions of people and also a way of living because of growing dependence and reliance of the mankind on machines. Unethical practices in the field of information technology have resulted into many problematic areas we need to tackle. Today, internet has become a parallel form of life and living because with the availability of artificial intelligence and new technologies. Most people use the internet as a powerful and beneficial tool for communication and education. Some individuals exploit the power of the internet for criminal or terrorist purpose. The major threats are Unemployment While information technology may have streamlined the business process, it has also created job redundancies and outsourcing. This means that a lot of mid-level and lower level jobs have been done away with causing more people to become unemployed. Privacy Though information technology may have made communication quicker, easier and more convenient, it has also brought along privacy issues. From cell phone signal interceptions to email hacking, people are now worried about the private information becoming public knowledge. Lack of job security. Industry experts believe that the internet has made job security a big issue as technology keeps on changing with each day. Dominant culture. While information technology may have made the world a global village, it has also contributed to one culture dominating another. For example, it is now argued that United States influences how most young teenagers all over the world act, dress and behave. Languages too have become overshadowed with English becoming the primary mode of communication for business and everything else. Supply chain fraud. In pharmaceutical companies, it has been observed 
that the supply chain fraud is the biggest threat to business. Identity theft, it is the act of pretending to be someone else by using someone else's identity as one's own. This is a type of fraud which involves stealing of money and obtaining other benefits using a false identity. Cybercrime, cybercrime is a criminal activity which involves the use of information technology to gain an illegal or an unauthorized access to a computer system with the intent of damaging, deleting or altering computer data. The concept of cybercrime is not radically different from the concept of conventional crime. A general definition of cybercrime may be unlawful act wherein the computer is either a tool or target or both. The computer may be used as a tool in the following kinds of activity, financial crimes, sales of illegal articles, pornography, online gambling, intellectual property crime, email spoofing, forgery, cyber defamation, cyber stalking. To protect the right of internet users, cyber laws have been formulated. In India, cyber laws have been defined under the Information Technology Act. Threat to IT by malicious software. Spam. Spam is the unwanted email on the internet with many copies of the same message in an attempt to force the message on people who would not otherwise choose to receive it. Most spam is commercial advertising. Spam costs the sender very little to send. Malware. It is a general term used for viruses, worms, spyware, adware, etc. It is software that has a malicious intent. Computer viruses. Computer viruses are malicious codes or program that cause damage to data and files on a system. Viruses can attack any part of a computer software such as boot, block, operating system, system areas, files and application programs. Worms. A worm is a self-replicating program which eats up the entire disk space or memory. A worm keeps on creating its copies until all the disk space or memory is filled. Trojan horses. Trojan horse is a program that appears harmless but actually performs malicious functions such as deleting or damaging files. Hacking. The activity of breaking into a computer system to gain an unauthorized access is known as hacking. The unauthorized revelation of passwords with intent to gain an unauthorized access to the private communication of an organization of a user is one of the widely known computer crimes. Denial of service. This type of attack eats up all the resources of a system or applications come to a halt. Example of such an attack is flooding a system with junk mail. A harmful activity of Trojan horses is the installation of background programs which gives a passage for entry of hackers that take control over the computer without your knowledge. Sweeper. It is malicious program used by hackers to delete all the data from the system. Phishing. It is a criminally fraudulent process of attempting to acquire sensitive information such as usernames, passwords, credit card information, account details, etc. In phishing, an imposter uses an authentic looking email or website to trick recipients into giving out sensitive personal information. For example, you may receive an email from your bank asking to update your information online by clicking at a specific link. Though it may appear genuine, you may be taken to a fraudulent site where all your sensitive information is obtained and later used for cyber crimes and frauds. Password guessing. Most hackers crack or guess passwords of system accounts and gain entry into remote computer systems and cause damage. Computer vandalism. It is deliberately destroying or damaging the property of other. Any type of physical harm done to the computer like theft of a computer, 
some part of the computer or peripherals attached to the computer or by physically damaging the computer. Let us now summarize what we have learned in this session. Information technology has opened a breakthrough of technological innovation in collecting, storing, processing, transmission and presentation of information. The information technology and information technology enabled services industry is the driving force which boosts the economic growth of India. It has transformed the information technology sector itself into a highly dynamic and expanding field of activity and creating new marketing and generating new investment, income and jobs. Information system developments are constantly being applied to increase the productivity, quality and efficiency of finance, banking, business, management and public administration. Information system supports businesses like management information system, quality management, geographic information system, globalization, communication, medical field etc. Information system suffers threats like privacy, cybercrime, lack of job security etc. The information technology enabled services sector in India has emerged as a fueling force behind the growth of Indian IT industry and the technology led services industry. Here are a few questions for you to work out. One, what are the technological innovations of IT industry? Two, discuss the job opportunities in IT sector. Three, what do you understand by phishing? Four, discuss on cyber security. Five, how to overcome the threats. Six, how to avoid spam from your primary account. Here are a few books for your reference. In the Cloud by C. Annan Murphy and Wagdi Samir, 2008, Cisco Internet Business Solutions Group, IBSG, NASCOM McKinsey Reports, 1999 and 2002, Ministry of Information Technology, Report for 10th Plan, 2002-2007, Ministry of Information Technology, IT Task Force, Government of India. Foundations of Information Technology by Sumita Arora, Dhanpat Rai and Company Private Limited Educational and Technical Publishers, 2011, page 399. Here are a few websites for your reference. www.cisco.com slash go slash IBSG. Thank you for watching this session. Let's meet in the next session with another topic. Till then, bye.